All right, folks, this is it. This is a big day. Today, today we're going to breathe life into this hummingbird guitar that we've been working on a very long series on this. Uh, I've got it strung up. I, I tuned it up. First thing I want to do is check it and see how much it settled down. And then we're going to do a complete setup on it. And you're going to get to hear it. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back, folks. Thank you guys for keeping it here. Thank you all, uh, new subscribers. I had to go get uh, other glasses. I had their own glasses on. These are the ones I use in here, I think. I've got so many pair of these things, man. I wish I had one pair of glasses that, you know, I could see everything with. I used to have prescription glasses. And I need to get them updated. Still got them. I need to get them updated. All right, so we're going to, first thing we're going to do is check this guitar out. Still in tune. I don't know if it's in standard tuning where it was at or not. But we'll check it out, see how much it settled down. I got the okay from the owner to keep it about another week or so. And after this video, you're going to see the guitar one more time. Like I said, I made a video of me playing some stuff on it before I ever done anything to it. Man, it was very hard to chord, too. And uh, I'm going to make another video after all the work is completed on it. And then you'll be able to put them together and you can hear a side-by-side -side comparison before the work and after the work with the bone uh, saddle and the tusk one and everything else we did to it. All right, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you and bring you over here now and let's start the, and let's check this thing first and see if it's, if it's gonna be in tune or not. I, I know it settled down, they all do it, man. They all do it. All right, folks, welcome back. Let's see, first thing I'm gonna do is turn that on. I, I had it on and it, I guess it goes off after so long. All right, I'm not able to talk very much when I'm doing this because it messes with the, uh, the tuner picks up my voice. Fifteen cents, let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, fifteen cents low. About ten cents low. It did settle a little bit. I knew it would. It's a little bit sharp, but it'll come down. Ten cents flat. Looks like a strange stretch, and it's always interesting to me to see, you know, tune, it's, get them all done. Set them up, stretch the strings out, tune them up, and then come back three or four days later and check it. It'll almost always be changed. That's, uh, wow, that's, that's real close to 20 cents flat. completely went over this guitar. I oiled the tuning machine heads. About the only thing I haven't done is adjust the truss rod or oil it. Might have to adjust it. We're going to find out tonight. That's awful close, man. Alright. First thing we're going to do is check the nut action. Now, that was what was killing this guitar when it came here. It had nut action. I didn't even measure it, man. Oh, good Lord. It was way up there. I'm going to start with the 18,000s here. I think that's why I said it at, if I remember right. That's what it is. It might even be 16. We'll check that. Yeah, that's the. This is an 18. It's clipping it a little bit. So give me a 10. Ah, oh, here it is. If I can get them together. Hands are not working for shit tonight, but then that's become a normality for me. All right, now I got 16. 10 and 6. That's exactly what it is. I don't know if you can see that. It's not lifting the string. 
little height under that fifth one, fourth one's perfect. We worked on the nut on this a little bit, lowered it. It was, yeah, check that out, man. Beautiful. That's perfect right there. Exactly. Sixteen thousandths. Yeah, that was uh, that was one of the things that was killing this guitar when it came here. Wow, it was hard to play, man. I don't know how Billy <laughs> did, played it with the the nut action that high. Of course, that's one of the reasons it's here. All right, I like to see it about a twelve on the acoustic guitar, but I kind of play kind of hard, so we may go a little lower, uh, lesser than twelve on this. Note down here at the seventeenth fret. Now, hold on, I always got to get down here. I can't see anymore, man. Seventeenth fret. I believe that's lesser than twelve or more. Uh, yeah, lesser. I used to measure these high strings, but there's really no need to. Well, let's see if it's a ten. Might have to adjust that a little bit if it is. That that's a uh, not very much neck relief. Yeah, the ten's even tight. I'm sorry, man. I get to doing shit and forget all about the camera. Cue ball's trying to remind me in there. I'm going to uh, take a truss rod cover off and loosen that a little bit. Stay tuned. I'll bring you back for it. As soon as I get the truss rod cover off. First thing I want to do is put one little tiny drop of oil on those threads. This looks like it hadn't had any oil for a while. For quite a long time, it looks like. I'm run that up around there with my finger a little bit. Get it on those threads. Now, we know we can loosen that truss rod under string tension. It's not going to hurt a thing. So. Turn it about an eighth of a turn. And, uh. Well, I gotta tune the guitar back up now, I'm sure. So let me get this off of it. And if it's right, put the truss rod cover back on. I'll measure this stuff again first. So let's do that. Let me back you off here just a wee bit. And I'll bring you back and I'll tune the guitar and we'll measure everything again. This is I figured. It did drop the tuning a little bit. When you loosen your truss rod and put a little bit, tiny bit more relief into it, the neck, then you know your your nut up here and your saddle gets a little bit closer. That didn't drop very much. They all did a little bit. That's just a sure sign everything's working right. <laughs> Here's something you can argue amongst yourselves about. Will adjusting your truss rod do anything at all to your intonation? I'm not going to answer that. Not here on this video. It'd be interesting to see you guys' answers on that, though. <laughs> Just in your truss rod only. Will that do anything to or for your uh, intonation? What do you guys say about that? All right, let's try this 10 again. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, man, we got 10 relief. I'm going to leave that like that. This guitar is set up so fine, man. It doesn't really matter on this side, but I'll check it. And that's a little bit tighter over there. But you don't go with that. These big strings are the ones that need to vibrate. All right, I can put the truss rod cover back on it. I won't bore you with that, all that. 
We'll do it in a minute. I want to read the string action here and we'll check intonation. I intonated that saddle so it should be right on the money. All right. High E string. Are we in the camera? Yes. High E string, 12th fret. It's 464s. Wow, that's down there on an acoustic flat top guitar. Low E string. You guessed it, it's 564s. It's a little bit less than 564s, but it's closer to 5 than it is 4, so we're going to call it 5. I forget what the radius in the fretboard was, but I matched the radius with the saddle. So that's all done. Yeah, as you come up each string, it's a little bit closer and a little bit closer. I bet I noticed this guitar had a uh, if you hold it up here and look down the fretboard it's got quite a, a large ski jump right here in this area there's nothing you can do about that I mean you know other than pull the frets and sand it out or hopefully you have enough fret to sand it out of the fret but this is pretty bad I'll try to get the camera and show you that. I'm going to put the truss rod cover back on first, and then I'll get you and show it to you. Hold on. This truss rod cover, I'm trying to keep from touching the, <laughs> the peg head. <laughs> Headstock. <laughs> oh, man. The truss rod cover has got a tiny little split right there. And I just wanted to document this. I didn't do it because I right there just now it was the first time I've ever tightened it up on this guitar. Uh, I never noticed it when I took a screw out, but when I laid it on there, I saw it. It's nothing to worry about. It's not bad, but I just want to document that. Now I forget what we're going to do. We measured everything, right? Oh, hold on. Let me just gather my little collection of thoughts, man. I forgot what we were going to do. The jump I'm talking about. Yeah, I think maybe there, you might be able to see it. This wide angle lens makes the whole ne entire neck look crooked. The neck is uh, right. It's got 10,000th relief in it. And, I don't know if you see that ski jump or not. Yeah, I think you can see it right there. Clear down to the end of the fretboard. There's, it's a really big ski jump, actually. show you this unless you can see those lights on that tuner this red light over here indicates it's sharp the red light on this side indicates it's flat green light in the center indicates it's dead on if you can see that that's fluctuating just a tiny bit flat the third string So close, man. Tuners all over the place. There it is. Yeah. When you're in intonating a guitar. You need to know how the player is going to play it. I mean, take his third string, for instance. There it's in tune. If I note it, it's in tune. But if I hit that string, if a player plays harder than I do, <laughs> it's going to go all over the place. See what I mean? It's going sharp. Here, let's try this one. In tune. Maybe two cents flat, but if you hit it hard, you can see it goes sharp right off the bat on the initial pluck. So that's a good tip. I mean, you know, you got to know how the player is going to play it. And I assume Billy, the owner of this guitar, is going to play it real light, but by him wanting the action that low, 
Uh, I don't know how it's going to work if he tries to play down in here because that ski jump. It's a terrible ski jump right there. You know, that's just from uh, the, the years of the guitar's life. Swelling up and shrinking and getting over humidified and under humidified and glue joints all moving around and stuff. It happens, you know. Well, I guess it's time to see what it sounds like. Let's do it. Man, I don't have any calluses on my fingers at all. Just for a little bit, I've been hitting chords on the guitar, you know, testing them. Boy, this thing is wicked, dog, man. Just uh, forget my attempt to sing. strings off the fretboard. My hands are so screwed up, man. You know, I just don't how to play anymore. I can't. Beautiful sounding guitar, man. That pick card really made it a beautiful guitar again, too. I'll wax it all up, clean it up good for him and stuff before I send it back. Well, I hear heat coming. Thankfully, man, we can use all the heat we can get around here. see this guitar one more time what I uh, like I said before I made a I made a video before I did anything right out of the case and uh, I'll have to watch that video again and see what songs I tunes I attempted to play on it and I'll attempt to play them again now after all the work and you can compare the two before and after the the work was done to it I can already tell you though it sounds better when, when I took it out of the case man I don't remember if I even measured the nut action or not, but it was so high, I mean, I couldn't even squeeze a chord out of it. I can't play it. I'm so far out of practice, man. I say I do not have any calluses, not none, zero there. Nothing, man. And it's eating my hands up. It's not the guitar. The guitar is just a uh, wow. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Check this action out, man. Look at that. Of course, it's even lesser. 
on that side if you can see that. Maybe I should hold it like that so you can see the bass string. It is so touchy, man. But, you know, when your hands are like mine and been through what mine have been through, what are you going to do, you know? I'm not even going to attempt to do, go there, man. It doesn't went too far. So, anyways, watch for the guitar one more time. I got the okay from the owner to keep it another week and let it settle down. Actually, it'll be, uh, what is today's Thursday? I was going to mail it Monday, but I'm going to keep it another week because the guitar has not had any stress on it for quite a long time. And it's changing quite a bit. It's settling down like they all do. So, uh, I told him I'd like to keep it for another week and send it. Not this coming Monday, but the following Monday after that. By the time you guys on YouTube see this, it'll be getting pretty close to that day. But between then, now and then, I'll try to get some counts built up and play a little bit each day so I can actually play a little bit and uh, do that comparison video for you guys. So thank you all for watching, man. This is what a beauty, beautiful sound. I'll see you on the next video. man. It's the hands. Cheers. See you soon.